Mundine from being as outspoken as ever. And I'm a gold tape out of the month. Uh, Guess what? Guess what? I stepped that up. This is platinum, baby. Top of the line. There was the usual trash talk at Eccles and Mundine's weigh-in yesterday, but there'll be less talk and more action tonight when the pair meet across a boxing ring in Sydney. Mundine's lost just one fight in 18 during his short career, and that was against IBF champ Sven Otke. Eccles isn't quite in the same league as the German, but in a 12-year career, he's taken on the best and won. The pair were scheduled to fight on August 6, but a viral infection knocked Mundine out before a glove was laid in anger. He's obviously bounced back, looking fit, healthy and strong. But as an indication of what the man is facing, when all-time great Bernard Hopkins was asked who his toughest opponent was, he skipped past names like Felix Trinidad and Roy Jones Jr., and named the man with the gold teeth from Florida. Craig Norenberg's Sky News. And joining us now is someone who has spent a considerable amount of time with both boxing camps, boxing correspondent and editor of the website secondsout.com, Paul Upham. Paul, Eccles says that Monday won't last five. What do you reckon? Well, it's an interesting fight, Gary. Uh, you know, he's got knockout power. Antoine Eccles is one of the best in the world, top five. There's no doubt about his... Uh, his ability and his calibre, and Anthony Mundine is in for a, a tough, tough fight tonight. But, you know, I think Anthony can go ahead and win a fight tonight. It's going to be very hard for him. He has to beat his best. He can't make any mistakes. But I think Anthony Mundine can come out tonight and show us how good he really is. OK, it's a must-win uh, must fight, though, for Mundine, isn't it? And he, and he had to postpone it uh, a month ago because he needs to be at his absolute top. Well, that was an indication to me that how seriously he's taking this fight because he realises if he loses this fight, Gary, you know, he might as well say that his boxing career is over, particularly if he gets beaten badly tonight by knockout. You know, at 28 years of age, he, he'd be more than likely to probably to go back to rugby league. But is this a real title fight anyway? Wouldn't Sven Otke or Joe Calzaghe beat either of these fighters in a canter? Well, Sven Ockie has got the claim to be the, the real world champion. Joe Calzaghe from England has been a very good super middleweight. He's still untested. He hasn't fought the big fight. Uh, Sven Ockie has done that. Ockie proved himself against Anthony Mundine and others. He's had 20 world title defences. This really is a chance to, stake up to take a step up to that next level and get back in there for some really big fights. The talk from Mundine hasn't been quite as outrageous leading up to this fight as it has been in the past. I just think it's the maturity showing through Gary. He's 28 now. He, he's learned a lot. He's had a loss. He's been beaten, knocked out. And, and he realises how, how serious he has to be. I've seen a big difference in his training this time around. You can see that he really knows the pressure is on. And, you know, this is the perfect chance for him to show us that he really is the man that he's claimed to be for so long. OK, you've said you think Eccles will win. Will it be close? No, actually, I'm tipping Anthony Mundine. Oh, are you? I think Mundine Sorry. can win on points. A very close points decision over the distance. I just think the man is going to come out tonight and show us how much he has improved. OK, we'll see how it pans out. Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks, Gary. Paul Upham on the big fight tonight.